Yo, Elliot, my question for this session is how do we build a positive self image from a negative one? Well, you don't. You drop the issue altogether because both are fake. Any self image that we have of ourselves is, a, is contrived. It's made up. It's not easy to see ourselves as we are, right? That's why feedback is good in a way, right? Getting, getting feedback, getting, a mirror, getting, getting somebody to mirror you uh, or, or tell you about yourself is really actually very helpful. That's why people go to psychoanalysts and stuff, right? Because they wanna be able to see yourself rightly. So I'm gonna actually put a nail on this one. I'm gonna put it real simply. You don't need a positive self image. You don't need a negative self image. You need to see yourself rightly without judgment. See yourself as you are, both positive and negative, right? I see and I acknowledge the various positive things that I have going on for me. I recognize various fruits that I've that have come in my life and various gifts I've been given. I also am very aware of my sinfulness. I'm very aware of the negative sides and dark sides of Elliot Hulse. I've come into contact with it many times, so much so now that when I see it, I'm careful. And it's funny because even the positive things can turn into negative things if you don't see it rightly. Whoo, this is huge. If you don't see yourself rightly, you can fall into pride. So it's not about negative or positive, it's about truth. If I see myself positively, right? I can fall in love with that image, but it's a fake image because it's not lasting. Nothing lasts. And it damn sure isn't gonna last because there's a demon inside me. There's a dark side inside me, right? Where's this is an old saying that there's a wolf, there's two wolves inside me, a good wolf and a bad wolf, right? And every day these wolves are fighting, right? But the idea is for the righteous to survive, the righteous to go on. You want the good wolf to win, right? Because that means you're gonna make generative decisions in your life. But if that, that good wolf wins, Satan's very sneaky. <laughs> the good wolf could win. And then from the back door, pride, pride starts to sneak in. So I know this is going to, I don't want this to sound flippant, but I want you to recognize the importance of this very, this very, um, People say it all the time, I forget the word, but I don't want you to take it lightly. The truth is it's about humility because a negative person is not humble, right? A person that is sinful, that's doing mean things or thinking bad things or even depressed. Depressed people are prideful. Depression comes from pride. It's taking yourself too damn seriously. If you take yourself so seriously that you're depressed, that means you have a pride problem. And as I said earlier, the positive side can also lead to pride. So really it's not, let me put it this way, the, the issue is not positive or negative, it's pride or humility. And I don't want you to take that word humility to uh, the way many people put it. People say, people use that humility to mean like to be weak. No, humility is not weak. Humility is seeing yourself rightly. And if we see ourselves rightly, we have to recognize that we are under, under the authority of our creator. No matter how great I am or great things I do, I am still under the authority of my creator. I do nothing. I, there's nothing that you could do or I could do without the guiding hand and grace of God. Right? That's like saying, that's like, uh, that's like, I'm, that's like an app, right, on your phone, right? Like, oh man, this is an amazing app. This is the best app ever. This app does all the amazing things that need to be done and it's the, and it's the number one app in the world. But if that app doesn't have a platform, <laughs> what good is the app? The app can't do anything unless it's on your phone, right? So no matter how good that app is, if it's not in the Apple store, it ain't, it ain't good app. If it's not in the, Android store, it, it ain't a good app because there's no platform for it. 
You and you can't blame a bad app either if it's not on a platform. We are on the platform of God's creation. I don't do anything. You do do anything without the platform from which we come and go back, which is God the Father, right? So humility is for an app to recognize, hey, look, whatever happens in this app, good or bad, the bottom line is I need this platform. I need this iPhone. The app needs the iPhone. Good or bad, whatever I do, the bottom line is I need God the Father. I need the creator, right? And so what does that do? It makes you see yourself right. It makes, it puts your, it puts your ego, it puts you in right order with things. So that's my long, short answer, which is essentially, it's not about positive, it's not about negative, it's about pride versus humility. And humility is humanity, right? I love that word, I'm gonna leave you with this. I know I'm talking a lot, but that word humility is beautiful. The root word humility, from humility, hum, which is where we get humus. What is humus? It's the nourishing stuff in the soil. In the Bible, it says that God made us from the dust. It's about dirt. Right? It's about the nourish, it's about the nourishing stuff in the earth. Humility, right? Is being earthly. It's the it's it's being down to earth, right? It also is where we get the word human. Humility, human. We're made from the humus, we're made from earth stuff, right? And one last one, which I think is beautiful, humor. Actually, I'll give you another one. Humor. Humor which is very human. Animals don't make jokes. Animals don't laugh <laughs> at stuff, right? They don't get humor. It's very human to be humble and to understand humor. And here's the last one. This is the icing on the cake. Humiliation. Because if you don't see yourself right, you're going to be humiliated. You're going to be brought right back down to earth. I know, I've been there. <laughs> I've been humiliated. You know what humiliation does? Makes you humble. So that's it, dude. Forget all the positive, negative stuff. See yourself rightly done. Yo, it's your bro, Elliot. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, you ought to know that it was a clip from one of my most recent King Transformation classes with my students, where among other things, we get together about four or five hours a week and we speak on things as it relates to becoming kings in our lives and fitness, business, and with women. That sounds like you and you want to join a like-minded group of men who are growing stronger every day in every way in this degenerate age, then it's real simple. Just follow me on Instagram and then DM me the word King, K-I-N-G, and then me and my team will get back to the details to see if you qualify. I really hope to see you at the next meeting. Done.